everybody, welcome back to another presentation. My name is Dave, and in this tutorial, we're going to be covering what is known as an adjusted trial balance. So before we begin, I thought I'd actually introduce myself since I have yet to do so. And since we're coming up on that 100 video milestone almost, I thought it would be a good idea to let you know who I am, since we might ha be having future writers for different subjects at Ninja Notes. So now that you know who I am, we can start by talking about this adjusted trial balance. So let's bring up the accounting cycle and see where we are. So we're on step number five. I'm going to kind of outline it right here. And we're going to look at a trial balance that I have constructed. Then we're going to be looking at the adjusted entries that we've prepared in preceding presentations, the ones that just were uh, previously done, those, those five different categories of adjusted entries. And then we're going to prepare on adjusted trial balance. So let's let's get rid of this, get rid of our accounting cycle, and bring up our trial balance. So what is a trial balance again? Well we have all of the accounts listed in our company. We have cash, inventory, prepaid expenses, accounts payable, unearned revenue, revenue, and advertising expenses. So these are all the accounts that have balances in our company. And of course the balances of our debits and credits are $12,000 $400 each so that our debits equal our credits and of course this is always a prerequisite and a requirement for any trial balance the debits must equal the credits and of course this is because of our double entry accounting system where for every transaction we must have a certain amount of debits for a certain amount of credits where the debits actually equal the credits uh, for every transaction so now that we have looked at our original trial balance, let's look at those adjustment entries that we created in the preceding presentations. So I've got the five different categories of adjustment entries that we've prepared. We have prepaid expenses at the top at number one, accrued expenses at number two, accrued revenues, uh, we have amortization expense at number four, and revenues that have been earned or unearned revenue adjusted entries as number five. So what are we going to do with these adjusting entries? Well, since these adjusting entries were performed after we made this original trial balance, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to update the balances of these accounts if they've been changed or adjusted. And if there are new accounts being created, then we have to add on to our trial balance any new accounts and create a new adjusted trial balance. So the best way to actually find or summarize or compile uh, all the new balances and summarize all the different accounts is to create T accounts. So let's let's get rid of this original trial balance and bring up all the different T accounts that I've prepared uh, beforehand before actually talking through this tutorial since I thought it would save some time. So the first T account is of course cash and as you can see the final balance is unchanged from the beginning because adjusted entries do not affect cash accounts. So that is going to be 6500. Now let's go through the different adjusting entries and see how they affected the balances. So our first one is a prepaid uh, expense adjusted entry. So we have rent expense being debited for 300 which is right here. The left side, of course, is always debits, while the right side is credits on the T accounts. So our final balance for rent expenses is 300. Prepaid rent was credited for 300. So let's find our prepaid expenses, which are right here. The balance originally on our trial balance was 3,600, but of course, since we adjusted it for a credit of $300 located right here, our final balance is going to be a debit of 3,300. And notice that I've actually put a number next to the different adjustments so that you can kind of match them up and it's really easy to see. You might want to do this on quizzes or tests to really uh, to really observe and make it really easy for you to kind of kind of summarize all the different balances and compile them really easily. So let's move on to the second one. We have salaries expense which is located right here. We have no other adjustments so that is the final balance. Salaries payable did we create, we had to create a new account for this, so that is the final balance of salaries payable as well. 
we next we have accrued revenue. AR was increased by 100. Right here, it was a debit entry, so it has a debit balance of 100. Revenue was adjusted by 100 as a credit, which is located right there underneath revenue. So a credited, a credited amount of 100 was added to the original $2,500 balance. And of course, you'll see we'll have a later adjustment in the fifth adjustment entry. But we'll get to that in a sec. So what else do we need? We need to look at amortization expense, which is right here. Final balance is 5000 as a debit. Remember that all expenses are debited. Accumulated amortization are, are kind of confusing contra asset accounts. Remember that that is always a credit whenever you increase a contra asset account. And that the final balance is 5000 And finally, we get to our unearned adjusting entry, which is a debit to unearned revenue, which was right here, which brings down the unearned revenue final balance to $7,590 as a credit. And finally, we have revenue being credited once more to give us a final balance of $2,610. So right now, this has created a really, really easy way of looking at all the final balances of all the different accounts. We can see that the final balances are $6,500 for cash, $100 for accounts receivable, $2,000 for inventory, and so on. So what are we going to do with these final balances? We're going to actually create our adjusting or our adjusted trial balance. So let's actually move all this over to the left side. And I'm going to bring up the adjust trial balance. And we're going to look at how I've just transposed all the final balances over to this adjusted trial balance. So as you can see, the cash, the final balance is 6,500 of the debit. I've just transposed that balance right over there into the trial or the new adjusted trial balance. Accounts receivable is 100 right there. Inventory 2000 lined up right there and so on as we go through the different assets. Once we hit contra assets, the normal balances of course is a credit which would be 5000 and we go through all the liabilities and then the revenue and expense accounts. So I've just taken the final balances and just move them over to the adjusted trial balance. And remember, that's the order in which we list these goes from assets to liabilities to equity accounts. And just remember that the contra asset accounts right here, the contra asset always sticks with the asset account that it applies to. Remember that they're kind of like they're kind of like best friends. They always stick together. On the balance sheet, they always stick together on the trial balance as well. So that's essentially that's essentially it for creating an adjusted trial balance. It's pretty simple if you take the steps like how I've how I've done it and actually go in that order and compile a new general ledger and take the final balances and transpose them into a new adjusted trial balance. It makes it really easy like that. Um, so Essentially, the adjusted trial balance, why we actually construct this is because this gives us an idea of the final balances of all accounts. And why this is important is because we need to come up in our next step in our accounting cycle, which is going to be preparing financial statements. And then we can pass them out to users so that they can use them like yourself, maybe for investing in the company, maybe to a bank so that we can apply for a loan, or maybe to the CRA or the IRS, which is uh, our tax our tax system for actually reporting tax and your income for tax purposes. So that is the point of our adjusted trial balance. Hopefully I cleared all that up for you, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial when we talk about financial statements. All right. See you guys in the next one. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate. You can like us on Facebook to receive updates or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.